Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get started. Ladies and gentlemen, George Widom. Hi, this is George Widom from Widom's World, and I've got a special report today to share some new technology that is uh, going to be interesting to all you voice actors and musicians, but mostly voice actors, I'm sure. And it's called Source Connect Now, and it's from Source Elements. This is a new way of connecting studios to stream audio back and forth. And what makes it really unique is you can connect multiple studios at the same time and all be together in one session. So speak of the devil, I've got the developers of the software right here. I've got Rebecca Wilson, and I've also got Robert Marshall. Robert's in Chicago. And Rebecca, where the heck are you? Mexico City. Hola, buenos dias. <laughs> so they're standing by just we've been playing this with this for a while i thought maybe we'd capture a little bit of sound and picture let you guys see what it looks like and um rebecca tell me uh what makes this unique and uh well give me a little give me a little background on it sure we, we started working on this last year and uh, we showed a demo at aes in october i think you saw that that had video as well with it so that's another feature that will come with this um but uh, this is a version that we just really wanted to focus on for the voice market. We're getting it to work with Source Connect, with iOS, with Android, with Chrome. And uh, it's just gotten to the point where we're like, okay, let's just let everyone start using it. So it's very, very, very close. Um, this just has the basic features that we think everyone needs, like you can mute and change the volume. You can monitor yourself. So if you don't have the hardware, you can at least hear yourself back in your cans. So if I hit mute right now... There it goes, Rebecca. Yep. You should hear me go away. Yep. And then I'm I, still there. Yep. And I can mute Robert. Mute Robert's gone. Uh -oh. Cool. <laughs> so it is an early beta. So there's, there's little bugs that you're working on fixing, but it's going to be available to the public in how long, do you think? Well, we're going to release it um, initially for users of Source Connect so they can play around with it and um, we can get a good feel for the initial set of bugs. And then after that, we'll do a more widely open. Uh, public beta and then and then it's on the market yeah it's going to be really affordable too so we look forward to seeing a lot more people being able to have access to this kind of thing so what besides the fact that you don't need to have an iLock and you're not buying a software up front or a plug and you're just licensed you're just using a service online right, um, right. It's a subscription. what else sets this apart from uh, traditional source connect Robert well the what the, probably the biggest difference is this is using the opus codec instead of um, AAC. Mm -hmm. So that's, um, you know, it's it's definitely a difference in the way it sounds and the way it treats errors. Um, this is going to tend to try to stretch and mask things instead of trying to keep the time value exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So that um, certainly plays a role in other features that Source Connect is capable of that really aren't possible on a platform like this. So the restore and replace feature of Source Connect right now are things that you won't see on the Chrome version of, of, um, of, of Source Connect. So, for example, if you are going to be working oh, to picture, so everything right, has to be sample deal. or time code accurate, you, you, this would not be the right choice because it is allowed to lose sync or lose drift or drift or yeah, whatever. And you know what? For recording, this is going to be the same as ISDN. And I mean, ISDN doesn't do the time stretching like that. But right. you know. Every system has its own unique way of glitching when it right. does have bandwidth issues. And, um, this and so Source Connect beyond it, – it does. And, and this has um, – you know, it seems to be – pretty low latency as well which is which is pretty good yeah. so yeah. it's got some advantages like i said though the, the the biggest difference is that in the way it handles errors and therefore the ability to do things like the replace and restore so this is much more of a what you hear is what you get kind of connection instead of having yeah. a it's tracked audio with more, a proxy yeah and it's more usable in the sense that it just works um it, more, it's more like it just works in the sense of skype it, mm -hmm. you, know, you just log in and connect and we have to get we have guest accounts and i don't know right. and it's going to be very 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 easy for everyone to use and that's really great you don't need to worry about ports or yeah anything and, and it's really firewall resilient um, and all of those features are actually going into source connect as well very shortly we've been working mm -hmm. on making them compatible so source connect is benefiting from a lot of the things that we've learned building this 
Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I mean, Source Connect's been Very in sure. development for almost 10 years, right? 10 years. It'll be our 10 year anniversary next March. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah, we have a good party on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> The Source I Connect party. Ever get everyone together. On now, yeah. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that tells you a lot. I mean, that's 10 years of R&D and failing and failing again and getting it, you know, fixing it and getting better and adding, so, you know, support and all the stuff the Understanding customers. You understanding customers, yeah. what people actually need and want and what they're willing to pay and all that stuff is comes into developing something that people don't realize is so challenging. You guys have, mm. you know, stuck We've out the test it. of time, yeah. you know. Um, so, and so what do you need to use this? What software platform? You might've mentioned it, but you have to be on Chrome, mm -hmm. right? Right. So you need Chrome and it works on Mac, Linux, Windows, and Chromebooks. Mm -hmm. And it, as I said, Android, very, very Chromebooks. Soon. Yeah. Oh, you can buy yeah, one of those on, $250 Chromebooks. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. that's tempting. And that's it. And a microphone. You know, you do need a mo microphone that does dual mono at least, that 48 kilohertz. That's a limitation of Chrome. Oh, but I most see. most of us have that already. Mm -hmm. you know? Uh-huh. It actually and Speaking of audio input, there's one thing that's really special. It's called Source Nexus. I that's don't right. know if you've checked it out, George. Uh-uh. No, I think, so, I think I saw a glimpse of it at, at a show, uh -huh. but that's it, it. Like, Nexus is important for stuff like this because... Probably one of the biggest differences between Source Connect and what this is in its core is that this is not presented as a plug-in at all. Right. Um, so, and for voice about talent, Pro Tools yes, exactly. At least Pro Tools for now. But um, for voice talent, that's not so much of a problem because they just need to input their voice and and hear what the other people are saying to them. But on the record side, and I, I think that that's where voice talent needs to be sensitive as to what the other side has to do to be able to record and deal with these streams. And right. so it's one of the nice things about, say, Source Connect um, is that it, it brings the audio directly into the workstation of the recording engineer. Right. Um, so to basically create that facility with other applications, we made Source Nexus. And mm. You can basically think of it as an application audio router. It can route audio to and from any other application, including um, what we re have right now is an AAX plugin for Pro Tools. We'll soon have VSD and AU for it as well. But okay. that basically allows you to route the output of your web browser, which hopefully is running Source Connect now, directly into Pro Tools and be recorded. Oh, wow. That's a really key feature that some of the other systems out there cannot do. And it's a real kludge for some people to record the stream. So mm -hmm. that's going to be awesome. Yeah, it usually ends up taking an external cable going out and plugging it into your audio interface, yeah. which certainly gets the job done. Yeah. But then depending on what other audio interface you have, it's probably, you know, like, yeah, who knows? People are grabbing the is. headphone output. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Unbalanced. D yeah. to A, A to D, you know, back and forth, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. Right. And not, not, none of that makes most of your recording engineers happy when they have to jump through various hoops <laughs> to <laughs> right. change the way they have something set up already. True. So uh, how soon, well, actually, let me ask you this. Where do people go to find out when they get to start using it and then what it will cost? Because I know you guys are working on those details right now. Sure. So for the for the early beta, um, users just need to, you know, contact us. They can email us at um, info at source-elements.com mm -hmm. or they can call us at 312-706-5555 and we'd be happy to... Um, basically take their Source Connect account and light it up for the Source Connect Now beta, um, mm -hmm. and they can play with it that way. Um, when we go to the wider beta, we're not exactly sure how we're going to release that, but we'll make announcements over probably Twitter and all the mm -hmm. usual feeds. Mm -hmm. um, and then at that time, we'll know what it's going to cost, but it's going to be very affordable. I it's going to be, yeah, very. it's going to be competitive, basically. <laughs> yeah. And I think people will be... Um, yeah, I mean, price shouldn't be the barrier for being able to do high-quality yeah. audio sessions. And and I think our idea also was because we still feel that Source Connect is the real tool for yeah. professional real audio. Real pro tool, yeah. This is an add-on, so we're going to work on, you know, if you've got Source Connect, let's figure out, we'll figure out how we can let you use this as well in some capacity because mm -hmm. we think they're a nice pair, and especially once we've got the version of Source Connect that talks to each other, that gives you a lot of power to be able to really work with anyone who doesn't have Source Connect or doesn't have the time or doesn't need it. Or left their eye lock at home. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I, I'm really excited to share this with the world. Thanks for giving me a, a, you know, a sneak peek, a glimpse into this 
new software that I've been anticipating for quite a while since you guys told me about it. And uh, we'll be looking forward to letting everybody test it in the real world soon. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in, you guys. Thanks for calling in and let me do this demo with you. And um, anyway, this is George Whittem reporting for Whittem's World. If you have any questions for me for a future episode, just email whittemsworld at edgestudio.com, and I'll be happy to try to address it in a future episode. Thanks again, you guys. Thanks for uh, being part of this. Thank you. All right, take care. Bye. All right, bye-bye.